Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here bringing you guys a video response to JSTAR's video, Change the Sneaker Game, Step 1. Uh, if you guys haven't seen his video, you might want to stop this video, go check out his video and come back. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, bring my my two cents to the to his conversation. But basically, it's like uh, it's like this. Like, uh, and, and regarding the video that he was he was talking about, I, you know, I left a comment saying pretty much the same thing to the guy. I was no disrespect meant, but I, I you know, I was saying, hey, look, in this video, you're talking about respect, 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 uh, everybody, and then you, you're saying f this person, f this person, f this person, um, and and I was like, it's kind of you're totally contradicting yourself, and um, like all I see is you trying to beef with people, and he was like, well, I'm not beefing, like you see beef, I just see the, me trying to filter out the people that I don't uh, that that are corrupting the game, but to J Star's point, who who appointed him to be able to? Uh, suggest or or whatever that that person is the one corrupting the game like i think that you guys as people that watch these videos like you hear our opinion and our thoughts on certain things but that doesn't mean it's a it's a one-sided conversation i'm recording my voice over a video and placing it on youtube it's not a two-way conversation where you talk to me back and then i go okay yeah that makes sense then you're right like there i have multiple views on um the same topic like not everybody's just because it's it's in stone on a video does not mean that that's the finalized opinion. So it's like I think you guys got to consider that sometimes it is a little frustrating. Now, just a note in the background you see a lot of just random shoes. This is um just a random thing that I chose for this video. It's it's my Sneakerpedia crate for the crate of the month. I I entered that contest. I thought it was kind of fun. So these are just the random shoes that I chose for that, which was best Nike crate. So um but I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. Uh the other thing is I think that there's kind of a, a misconception about changing the game and the YouTube community. It's like you, us in the YouTube community are not going to change the game. And the reason why I say this is because the majority of sneakerheads out there don't even have a YouTube channel. Like I, I've been collecting shoes since 2003, since I've been able to afford buying my own shoes. And I just started a YouTube channel five months ago. I never watched any YouTube videos on any sneakers up, up until maybe eight months ago, maybe, maybe a year even at that. Like, so brand new to the to the YouTube community, long time sneakerhead. So like there's a lot of people out there that have a lot more shoes than myself and that know a lot more about sneakers that don't know anything about YouTube. So thinking that we're gonna change the community just because of YouTube videos, I think this is kind of it's short sighted. I don't think that's realistic. But I do understand that there is change that need to be made. Now obviously with the stabbings and stuff like that, there's there's a lot of problems out there. And uh, but th but if you look at the grand scheme of things, look at the the shooting in the movie theater. Does that mean that that we got to change the movie game and we have to put out um, like security entrance points for every every movie theater? I mean, realistically, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. But the same thing for sneakers. If people are going to wait in line, we have no idea what the conversation that happened in that line where people got stabbed. People could have been really really been disrespectful, cutting in line, whatever it might have been, past past. Uh, or or um, pass B for whatever it might be. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not trying to justify it in any way, shape, or form, but we cannot just blame sneakers. You got to hold the people accountable for their own actions. It's not the sneakers' fault. It's it's the person that chose to stab somebody else. That's really what it's at. But moving on, there are lots of different types of people in the sneaker community. Obviously, you have resellers, hype beasts, collectors, uh, people that rock all their sneakers, whatever it is. But the one thing I think that we all have in common, it seems like, is that everybody just wants to point the finger at somebody else as to why they do not get the shoe that they want to get. And I think, and if you think about it, so a, a non-line uh, release or an in-store release happens, we go, we wait, either online or in-store, we don't get the shoes, and automatically it's like F Nike, F, F Jordan brand, uh, you guys didn't make enough shoes for us anyway, so like it's, it's your fault. Or it's the reseller's fault because they're the people that waited in line, they're just going to go flip the shoes and make double the price uh, for the shoe, and and um, and then they, you know it took the shoe off of your feet. Or it's the collector's fault because the collector went and I bought the shoe, and and I'm keeping them dead stock. And meanwhile, somebody else could be we wearing the shoe, and so it's my fault. Or it's the hype beast's fault because the hype beast is the one that hyped up the product in the first place to get all this crazy publicity around the sneaker uh, to have have the the hype around it that it did. So it's like. We're always trying to find a scapegoat and, and somebody to blame for the, the situation for us not being able to have a sneaker. Now, I've already given my solution to this sort of a problem, which was Nike pre-order. If, if there was an ability to pre-order the shoes before they dropped, 
I said at a premium, but even if they could do it without a premium, it could help judge the supply and demand of a sneaker and they can make more pairs, make a little bit extra profit and supply enough for the people that actually want the shoe. Um, that's my short term solution to something like this and I think it could eliminate the resellers because they're not going to be able to make a profit on something that there's enough of a supply for. But that is Nike's whole and Jordan's whole marketing scheme is to make a limited shoe so it's more desirable, which works. It, it, it works. People want it because it's 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 limited. So my my solution to the whole entire thing really is, I mean, this is no different than any other market that's been out there. Uh, and now it's just getting more mainstream um, attention. Look at Beanie Babies or anything else, cards, stamps. Like look at other things people collect and people buy. It's it's the same sort of thing. It's just sneakers right now. It's the it thing, right? So we just need to let the storm pass. And once it is gone and all the media and the hype is out of the way, uh, the the true sneakerheads will be left and all the fakes will be washed away. And I think that's that's the the way it, it, it kind of works out for everything. I mean, again, look at stupid Beanie Babies and stuff. If you don't even know what I'm talking about, that's my point. Like uh, like the hype stuff passes and the people will move on to the next hype thing. So hopefully this is just a trend right now and um, those people that are following that trend will move on to the next thing and the people that like myself that just truly appreciate it and like sneakers for what they are um, will be left behind and, and I get a, you know, maybe go to the store and, and not have to wake up at five in the morning and pick up a pair of sneakers that I actually want to get in my collection and not have any problems uh, with that. And for the for those of you guys out there that have a problem with me collecting versus uh, like wearing every single one of my pairs of shoes or whatever it is, I did a lot of videos on rock versus stock already. If you want my opinion on that, go back and check out those videos. But my opinion is the same. It's not going to change because other people tell me to wear my shoes. I'll wear my shoes when I see fit. And I think that's, that's the bottom line with that. I think that um, I'm not persuaded by other people telling me what to do. Uh, I'm true to myself and that's what I, I collect these for a purpose. Yes, I don't have a fancy display yet. Uh, it's something that I'm, you know, eventually hopefully will have a nice display unit in a big house. But, you know, we all have hopes and dreams. I'm not rich. I'm just trying to take the next steps in my life to be able to get to the point where I have the the things that I want in my life along with uh, with my, my, uh, my beautiful wife. So have a good one, guys. I mean, th that's pretty much it for the conversation. I've been rambling for too damn long. I got to get uh, back to work. Um, but let me know you guys' thoughts in the description because this is an interesting topic. I mean, I don't know changing the game. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like kind of stuck because I don't see any instant changes that we're going to be able to do. There's always going to be those people that are causing problems. Um, and we just got to wait it out and, uh, and, and let it ride. So, uh, let me know you guys' thoughts. So have a good one, guys.